thank you to Book of the Month for sponsoring this video. I love Book of the Month. As I'm sure a lot of you know, I've worked with them a lot and I am so grateful because I truly do love Book of the Month. Book of the Month's mission is to help readers discover new books that they love and to promote the work of emerging authors. Each month, their editorial team reads through hundreds of new titles. They then pick the best five to seven of the new books for you as a reader to choose from. And it's really fun to select the books. The books are always great. It's also a great way for you as a reader to discover new books that you wouldn't have found otherwise. Their selections focus on new and upcoming authors, which I really appreciate. Every aspect of Book of the Month is designed to be really fun and special for the reader. There's a highly anticipated release at the beginning of each month. Books are delivered in this bright blue box, which is really freaking cute. They also have a fun app for you to pick your book and track your reading progress. They have reading challenges with rewards and lots of other fun surprises throughout the experience. Book of the Month also has really great value. They actually offer the best price for new release hardcover fiction, as well as free shipping and a loyalty rewards program. So at the beginning of each month, Book of the Month announced their selections. Members then pick one of the new books as their Book of the Month, and you can also add backlist books to your box for a discount. Really exciting because Book of the Month have also recently launched curated audiobooks in addition to their hard covers and you know I love an audiobook and members can now choose, download and listen to the audiobook right in their app. So now that they offer two different formats you can now choose an audiobook or a hardcover each month. So for October it was really hard for me to choose my book of the month but it would have to be between these two. The Fragile Threads of Power by V.E. Schwab. I actually forgot about this and I was so excited when I saw it as one of their selections. I love the Shades of Magic series by V. Schwab. And this is basically set in the same world as that series, but it's a new adventure with different characters. This is a really fun fantasy series, which is set in a world that has four parallel London. So there's Red London, White London, Black London, and Grey London. And I had so much fun reading that series. So I'm so excited that we have another series that's going to be set in this world and that I now have the beautiful Book of the Month edition. One of the other selections is The Leftover Woman by Jean Kwok. And this sounds incredible. So this is an evocative family drama and a riveting mystery about the ferocious pull of motherhood for two very different women. So this story finds those two women on a shocking collision course, twisting, suspenseful, and surprisingly poignant. This is a profound exploration of identity and belonging, motherhood and family. Just love stories about motherhood, life, women. So I am really excited about this and it has a beautiful cover. I'm obsessed. So of course I highly recommend Book of the Month and if you want to get your first book for just $5, you can use the code SPOOKY at checkout. Thank you so much to Book of the Month for sponsoring this video. Hello. I am so excited because I am finally going to be reading Fourth Wing, which is a really popular fantasy romance that has taken the internet by storm. I'm curious. It has dragons. I love fantasy romance. It's set at a dragon riding academy. Like, that just sounds incredible. And Caitlin read it recently. She's obsessed with it. So she's definitely got me even more excited to read it. So I've decided... It needs to happen. So I'm going to be reading it, not tonight actually, but going to start it tomorrow. Me and Kaz are going to have a cute little sleepover tonight after we go to a little tarot reading moment, I think. Then she's sleeping over and then we're going to have fun tomorrow. We're going to read and stuff. So we are both going to be reading Fourth Wing. She's already started it, but yeah, I'm really excited and I will bring you along this journey with me. And I hope I love it because I have recently started reading The Library of the Unwritten, which is fantasy and I am obsessed with that so far. So I'm really in the fantasy mood. So I think this is perfect. I think we've got the perfect concoction going on. I'm over reality right now, so I want to be transported into a fantasy world where dragons exist because that's what we all deserve. Where is my dragon? Last night was really fun. It was an interactive story experience with tarot cards to dictate where the story is going to go which was really cool and the person running it was like amazing the crap <laughs> sorry <laughs> then this morning we went skating because we're now in our skating era yeah that was really fun we got ready obviously Kaz is just <laughs> Kaz is just doing her back exercises Yes, so we are going to one of my favorite parks. Kaz has never been there, so I'm really excited because I love to go there and read by the lake with the ducks. We're both going to read Fourth Wing. Kaz is already reading it, so she's 100 pages in. What's your thoughts? I'm really enjoying it so far. Really enjoying it? So this is the stunning floppy paperback. And I'm really in the reading mood. And we're going to get bubble tea. We're going to get sushi. And it's going to be amazing. 
Bublet he secured. <laughs> I hope I'm in frame, I can barely see the camera because the sun is blinding. I am at the park now. Kaz just went to grab the phone tripod because she forgot it from the car. And she's like, oh, just copy, grab it. And it's like literally probably a 10 minute walk to go to the car. Anyway, she just texted me that her legs are burning. <laughs> but I just love the park. I do. And I love to people watch. We've got people riding their bikes on their scooters. People playing with the bull. Cutie family with the little bebe. People listening, I assume, to podcasts or something. Well, who knows what they're listening to? Oh my god, should I do that interview where I'm like, what are you listening to? Friends having fun. I love it. And there are two ducks at this park that are very aggressive. I've posted a few videos <laughs> where they have attacked me and, you know, I do love them. And honestly, valid. Like, I've seen some kids trying to chase the ducks and if I was that duck, I'd be like, leave me alone. <laughs> I think the ducks have some new friends though because I see some other white ducks in the pond. So I really wonder what the story is there. Like, did they make some new friends? Did they create some bebas? Who knows? Anyway, so we have obviously settled down. I'm waiting for Kaz to come back, but we have sushi for some yummy food. We got a finger bun and I am going to start fourth wing. Here's to the artist. You hold the power to shape the world exactly fourth wing is a non-stop thrilling adventure fantasy set in the brutal and competitive world of a military college for dragon riders oh my god books with chloe bwc <laughs> basquiat war college <laughs> oh my god i thought you were random <laughs> how was the walk cast it's far <laughs> yeah do you regret it yeah <sighs> <laughs> it'll be worth it though so worth it for the tripod. Exactly. I love to just interview with you with the microphone. Can I ask you a question? Oh, I was hoping that would snap. Hold on, wait. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will ask you one question. And my question to you is, what is one thing you love about yourself? I already thought of the answer before you uh, said the question. So peanuts. <laughs> peanuts? I do like peanuts, but I want you to answer. Baby, come back to me. But how good is this microphone? Because it means you can vlog at the park or outside and you can still have good audio. Okay, so what is something you love about yourself? I like my butt. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, but that's a very valid answer. Okay, what's something non-physical that you like about yourself? My empathy. Yes, I can confirm. Kaz is very empathetic and it's very stunning. See, look at those... What's something that you like about yourself, Miss Chloe Bunny? So I've taken over the vlog, I guess. What's something I love? Physical or non-physical? Both. Physical, my eyes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Non-physical, my curiosity. She's very curious. Always has very insightful questions. Can confirm. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Love it. Isn't it fun to like play with the microphone? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's read the opening. <gasps> <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, look, books of Chloe. <gasps> Stunning. Yeah. Um, I don't think mine's got. Oh, my <gasps> yes, Kaz has the ARC version, which is apparently very. Um, it's it's exclusive. Very sought, after, yeah. very sought after. So I might steal it. <laughs> if Chloe dies, it's because she stole my ARC. <laughs> Let's see what the vibes are. Chapter one. A dragon without its rider is a tragedy. A rider without their dragon is dead. Conscription day is always the deadliest. Maybe that's why the sunrise is especially beautiful this morning. Because I know it might be my last. I was right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should have brought a speaker and then just played like ocean sound. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
I got up to page 44, chapter 4, and it's super easy to read, super quick to read. The writing style is what I expected because I was warned that, you know, it's not like known for having amazing writing, but the writing is like good. Definitely some cringy lines, but it's not really affecting my enjoyment because it's just a fun time. And I really appreciate how easy it is to get into because with fantasy, I'm not always in the mood for like really intense world building. But, you know, we're slowly learning about the world in a really interesting and easy way. The dragons are like grumpy. Like how fun. So the dragons are actually not really vibing the humans. And this book definitely has a lot of tropes already. Like we have the love triangle set up and it's the classic like one guy she's known for ages and they've been friends and could it be something more? And the other is like hate to love vibes, like the enemies of the moment. I also knew it was going to be very tropey, but I'm fine with that because it's fun. I just want to read a fun fantasy romance and so far it's delivering. So I'm really excited to keep reading. I feel like I'll read it really quickly. Cutie Zaya. Zaya! <laughs> I am babysitting my friend's dog, Zaya. This is Zaya. <laughs> he's such a cutie. He's actually my godson. I am loving it because he slept over last night. He's gonna sleep over tonight. And I just love having a dog in the house because obviously it's been a long time. Oh, what a cutie. I have a very exciting box to unbox. So this is from Impala. And as I mentioned, I'm in my skinny girl era now. So let's unbox. Oh yeah. I got a new skateboard. Look how cute The rose and then the back. I am obsessed. So I have my regular skateboard, that's actually my brother's old one, and I'm using that to learn tricks and, you know, just the basics of skateboarding. But I wanted a cruiser board for just skating around the beach and, you know, the streets and stuff like that. So, oh my god, this is so pretty. So I need to give it a little test. I also got some socks. These ones, these really cute pink ones. Oh, the stunning thick socks, nothing better. These black ones. Anyway, let's give this a test ride. Ooh, Zaya, you're like, what's going on? <laughs> okay, I just tested it out and it was really hard. <laughs> I'm obviously still getting used to being on the skateboard, but it would like lean really easily and the board would touch the ground. I don't know the terms because I'm obviously a rookie, but Kaz was explaining it to me because she got an Impala skateboard recently, which is the one that we were skating with earlier. But her boyfriend is a skater and he has been teaching us and he told us that we should replace the bushings because it'll make it easier to ride because with complete skateboards, usually they try to use cheap bushings. So thank God we have an expert. So if you're also being a rookie skater like me, there's that tip for you. So yeah, I just bought some bushings and waiting for them to arrive and then I will put those in. I don't even know what bushings are, to be honest. Kaz just sent me the link and I was like, okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm just so excited for this new skating journey. It's honestly so... I can't wait to be able to just like skate to the park. It's also so interesting getting used to Zaya being here because he's obviously so different to Scruffy and he's like much bigger. So when I go up the stairs, he like runs in like two seconds up the stairs. But Scruffy, well, he couldn't even go down the stairs. I had to take him down the stairs because he was scared. But when he would go up the stairs, it would take him like maybe a minute because he would be like 
<laughs> going up super slowly. Anyway, I'm actually putting Fourth Wing on hold for now because I want to finish my other book that I'm reading, The Library of the Unwritten, which is really good. But I'm filming a separate vlog for that for my Patreon. So when I finish that, I will come back to you with some Fourth Wing updates and hopefully finish it really quickly. I will update you when I start reading it again. <laughs>